everybody tech segment anybody that has questions i want to see demonstrations i am here for you this is what i wear for filmico and as you can see my shorts are written up but uh this is the link suit it's got trackers it can you know track my movement and that's pretty much what I use to track Fumiko, it is the Oenda XM system. This is the hand trackers. The hand trackers I use for Fumiko. And as you can tell, her tracking loses when I go backwards. That's because the tracking is done currently on my iPhone. See that? I use my iPhone for tracking. You guys want to see Miko standing up and stuff? So, so Miko, I control Miko's camera. I control Miko's camera through this, just this Xbox thing here. She's a little blown out right now. Okay, and I need to actually recalibrate her because you see how funky her legs are right now? Let me go recalibrate her because she is looking a little janky. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the motion capture software! That's me! Relax and walk. I should have gone farther. This is not far enough for the walk cycle. Look at that calibrate you was successful. I'm gonna apply. And then we're gonna walk and clap, everybody. We're gonna walk and clap. Walk, clap, walk and clap, walk and clap. Okay, so now it's freshly calibrated. Alright, so if we want her face to follow, we're going to actually move, we're going to actually put the helmet on, okay? God, it's been a while since I put this helmet on. I usually put it, I usually put the headband. This is going to be scary, FYI, this is going to be scary. So this helmet costs around two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. I can use my other mode that helmet. It's a little bit more comfortable. Hold on, give me a second. I also, I also sometimes use this, which is basically like you put it around your neck, and then, um, and then you have like the little phone thing here. I sometimes use this too. So this is actually, if you don't want to use your helmet, you can also use this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna selfie stick it for now. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. Kick, kick, kick. And yeah, so you can either use um, a selfie stick if you're going to just be sitting down because that's what I use. I don't move around much. My character just sits and stays there. I use a selfie stick on my table. If I'm moving around, I use either the shoulder helmet, the shoulder helmet, or I use the helmet that you guys saw earlier. If you have an Apple iPhone and you have an Unreal Engine, you can use a live link uh, setup. And all you need to do is 52 blend shapes. 52 blend shapes that these, the iOS Space AR is, um, is compatible with. You can do that in Maya or ZBrush or anything else like that. Uh, but yeah, that's Miko walking around. I'm gonna just walk so you guys can see. And her face is gonna be funny, but. <laughs> so, Komiko 3.0 is going to actually be made in Unreal Engine 5. And we are moving all of our projects. Ah! Yeah, we've been migrating our project to move uh, to Unreal Engine 5. And Unreal Engine 5 is great. Uh, it's pretty much Unreal Engine 5 is pretty much Unreal Engine 4. I need to fix her mouth. Um, it's the same as Unreal Engine 4, but it's got better rendering capabilities. But According to my senior developer, it's honestly, it's just, the migration has been smooth and 
it's just been, uh, you know, it's been easy to implement. Oh my god, this looks really good. This looks really, 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 really good. Change the laptops. Yeah, this one. Do you develop this stuff yourself? I do. So, Fumigo was all made by me. And when I became bigger, I started to hire people to help me with my things. And I recently started a company um, that, you know, where we can take what I built with Komiku and turn it into an app so that, you know, anybody like you guys can do this as well. How transferable is the rig between the models? Do you have to spend a lot of time on new control for each character? No, I set it up in a way where it's really, really easy for me to just get new skins. Um, and just swap it out. Uh, so, uh, depending on the costume and skins, it can range from taking 30 minutes to like 2 hours. So remember the demo I did where I was like scratching my face like this? So the reason why um, this isn't the same right now is because the drift, like, it hurts how like drift and stuff and you just kind of have to like fix it. You do have to calibrate it somewhat quite a lot. Are the components heavy? Nah, this is pretty light. This is very light. Um, inertial suits will never be perfect. Optic, optic, optic solutions like mocap studio where they, where they're using cameras and there's reflective balls and stuff. That would be way more perfect than and more accurate than inertial suits. And it gets less accurate with um, you know the Owenda system. Do they make baby VR equipment when you have a kid? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe someone can. Does it get sweaty or sore on the gear? I worry for health. Amigo? Oh god. Make sure you pee. Peeing is very important. If you don't pee, you'll get a UTI. This gonna look kind of crazy. Everybody run. I'm not gonna be sticking with the suit. I'm. I. I think I'm going to move on from accents one way or the other, unless their suit becomes more like affordable, more comfortable, more easy. I do feel like in the future I will be moving away from it because I want something that's even easier than accents. You know what I mean? Either a webcam tracking solution, or uh, I also really want a, a suit that like I can twerk in. Even though I don't do much twerking in, in Komiko, but it would be nice if I could have that ability, you know? Um, so, yes, I'm just taking off all the trackers now. It's okay, she's still alive, I think. Have you ever tried to, to make a game? Oh yeah, I mean, we actually have some miniature games in Komiko Project itself. How much modeling experience you have before making Muko? I started, I started dabbling into 3D when I was 16. So I, it's been, I've been inside 3D for 15 years. Do you ever feel bad at your creation that forced to spend all of the turning in the digital void as puppets? Only if they become self-aware. The eyes are moving, is it really? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Oh God, it is. Oh my God, that's cursed. If there's anything cursed, that's cursed. <laughs> ah, help me! 